Due to the downturn of the U.S. and global economies, it seems that all industries have a bleak outlook when it comes to profits. Yet this is not entirely true. A lot of products hit an all-time high during the year of 2008. While some of the products were smart choices for the American consumer, others were just plain senseless. Markets.com will show you the top products that are thriving through the recession. Many Americans see the benefits of staying in to eat. That being said, the first product on our list is Spam. The Hormel Foods plant, based in Austin, Minnesota, has been operating two shifts a day and seven days a week to produce this canned meat creation. Despite increasing unemployment rates in the U.S., the employees at the Spam factory are getting more overtime than they can handle. What's in Spam, you ask? Spam is a combination of ham, pork, sugar, salt, water, potato starch, and to top it off, a dash of sodium nitrate to help keep its bright pink color. If that doesn't make your mouth water, it's also good to know that Spam is still edible after lasting an entire year on the shelf. At $2.40 a can, Spam has contributed immensely to Hormel's 14% profits for the first half of the year. Even though Spam sales continue to rise and employees at the Spam factory continue to work overtime, it's not enough to pick up the slack for Hormel's other products, as the company reported a 33% drop in its fourth quarter. Another company's profits that aren't so hard to digest is Kraft, with profits up 7.8% from last year. Velveeta sales continue to rise, as well as Kraft's Jell-O and Kool-Aid products. What's most noteworthy, though, is Kraft's mac and cheese, for which sales have gone up roughly 11.8% since last year. Another product that has been thriving during the recession is Campbell's Soup. This shouldn't come as a huge surprise, considering that Campbell's Soup's company has survived 28 recessions, two world wars, and the Great Depression. As the economy continues to slow, the company's soup sales in Walmart stores have climbed as much as 14% since August. But food-based products aren't the only ones that have thrived through the recession. Pfizer is happy to announce that their sales in the well-known antidepressant Soloft have skyrocketed up to 200% in comparison to last year's performance. CEO of Pfizer, Jeff Kindler, says, quote, We are overjoyed to be in a position that allows us to reap massive profits by giving people the ability to chemically alter their mood. And last but certainly not least is Sturm, Roger and Company, a company which primarily designs, manufactures, and sells firearms. That company has reported between 100 and 200 percent increase in their gun sales this year. That's mostly due to the November elections and the fear of a Democratic-controlled Congress. It just goes to show you that even in a financial crisis where we're eating meat out of a can and noodles out of a box, we can still afford guns. Regardless, it's a great way for investors to cash in on the panic. Thanks for tuning in to Markets.com. I'm Luisana Swigard, and as always, we wish you luck with your investments.